Hi, this is Janice Went with Perfectly Clear. Edit in versus export. Which one should I use? In this tutorial, I'm going to show you my recommended workflow in Lightroom and how to use the plugin so you will get the maximum benefit. Let's start with the big picture. The strength of Perfectly Clear is the robustness of its automatic correction. It's really that good. You can reliably batch correct thousands of photos with confidence that Perfectly Clear will make them better without damaging your photos. In fact, Perfectly Clear every day automatically corrects over 30 million images with our licensees. Furthermore, Perfectly Clear is not a creative or an enhancement filter. Perfectly Clear performs multiple corrections that are designed to overcome camera limitations such as single aperture, noisy sensors, limited color spectrum, and more. So with this in mind, we want to use Perfectly Clear as our first step in our workflow. We'll then view the corrections, make some tweaks to fine-tune the images, then apply artistic enhancements using Lightroom tools or other plugins such as Alien Skin, Nick On One, or Topaz. Let's get started. Here is a shoot I did recently. I just finished importing all 64 photos into Lightroom. The next step is I want to apply Perfectly Clear to them. To select all the images, I'm going to select with a Command or Control A. And that selects all of my images. It appears Lightroom has applied an auto correction. I want to remove this correction so I can use the more advanced correction that Perfectly Clear can make. Click on the Develop module. On the right hand side, we can see the auto correction has moved all these sliders to various settings. It would take some time to correct all of those into the correct setting, which is to zero them out. So the easiest way is we'll go over on the left hand side to Presets, go to Lightroom General Presets, and click on Zeroed. Now that looks a lot better. Next, I want to apply Chromatic Aberration Correction found in the Lens Correction tab. Let's scroll down to the Lens Correction tab and I'll click on Remove Chromatic Aberration. Sometimes different camera profiles can clip information. So that's why I want to make sure that I go to Camera Neutral. You'll see that the histogram got much better after clicking on Camera Neutral. It's very important to bring all the information forward to be used by Perfectly Clear. That way it'll be optimized. Now I want to go back to the library mode. I have all the images selected and I want to make sure that I synchronize all my settings. So click on Sync Settings, Synchronize All. Now we're ready to export. We have all the images selected, so go ahead and click Export. In the dialog box, we want to export to Athentech Perfectly Clear. Come down to System Presets, Use Default. We're going to check Hide the Perfectly Clear window because we want to batch process all the photos without previewing the correction. Now in Export Location, I recommend going to same folder as Original Photo, put it in a subfolder called Perfectly Clear, and then make sure Add to this catalog. We want to make sure we add it to this catalog so we don't have to import it later. To set up the rest of the export dialog, watch my video on Perfectly Clear Batch Processing with Lightroom. Now click Export. Now the export is all done and Perfectly Clear has been applied to all the images. Let's scroll through them and see how they look. They look really great. Perfectly Clear has done a beautiful job on them. It's just what I want out of every one of these images. They're ready for me to do my next steps. But I just remembered I did a bunch of images that I did at 6400 ISO and not 400. It's the previous ones. So 6400 really requires me to do some noise reduction. So let me scroll back and see about where I did that. I think this is it. I can see over here, that's 400 ISO. This one is 6400 ISO. Now I can click on each one that's the original, but it's much easier to go to my previous import. After clicking previous import, all my originals are the only ones that are showing. I can click on the first one here that's 6400, go scroll all the way down to the bottom, hold my shift key, and click on the last one. Now the 6400 ISO images are selected. Although I can quickly and easily use the edit in with a right mouse click, this would not be the best way to go, since it will produce a lot of extra files. I will go to export instead. 
Click on Export. The reason I recommend performing your tweaks in Export is because Lightroom will overwrite the files that have the prior corrections. So when I go to the Export menu, I'm going to select Noise Removal. So it's going to do all my other corrections plus Noise Removal. And then right here in the Export location, it says Existing Files. Ask what to do. To save me some time, I'll just tell it to overwrite without warning. Overwrite without warning will overwrite the files that we had the prior corrections on. Now go ahead and click Export. Using Perfectly Clear to remove the noise was a lot easier than doing four more sliders in Lightroom. Here are all my corrected photos with proper exposure, depth, color, contrast, and best of all, the noise is removed. With my images optimized, it will be easier to work with them and apply my own artistic touch. I want to point out with this process of using a subfolder right here, you can see the perfectly clear subfolder has all the images that have perfectly clear applied to them. It's real easy to grab that folder and send it to a client or to our printer. I can also go within that folder and know that I have all ready for my next step. So let's summarize what we've done. Right away we've applied perfectly clear automatically to all of our photos. We've kept the original photos safely preserved in case we need them in the future. Our corrected photos are in a subfolder within the original folder. The files have the same name but are appended with PC to stand for perfectly clear easily identified as perfectly clear being applied. We've automated the correction process and saved a ton of time doing it. That's the power of perfectly clear. Now I'm ready to apply my artistic touch using Lightroom controls and other plugins. Thank you for watching this video. Check out our other videos using perfectly clear.